girl, can we talk about the fact that you were having such serious, great fashion moments lately? Really? Yes. Thank you. Uh, this I'm just outfit? all about the comfort here. The shoes, trousers. I'm not going to flash my cookie anytime soon. <laughs> it's a good day for me. Definitely. Uh, you looked also amazing at the Game of Thrones premiere. And that's not just because you brought your really attractive boyfriend with you. <laughs> He's a good accessory. Definitely. Um, I've got to know, is Joe rooting for Sansa to end up on the Iron Throne? I don't know. I don't know. We don't talk about it. <laughs> um, we love... You blush. Are you blushing? Oh, God. Yeah, or I'm sweaty. I can't tell. Sophie, you look a little smitten right now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm smitten with Maisie. I'm smitten with Maisie, too. She's my wife. Can we talk about the fact that Maisie is joining the Marvelverse just like you? If we don't get a crossover on Game of Thrones, we're getting one on X-Men. Okay. That's she, not an exclusive. That's she's, a she's joining X-Men New Mutants. Yeah. What advice do you have for her to be joining this brand new franchise? Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, she kind of called me up the day that she was offered it, and she was like, what do I do? Like, do, what should I do? And I was like, take it 100%. It's going to be the best thing for you. But my advice to her would be like, if you feel like an idiot doing it, you're doing it right. Because... Being a mutant, you have to do the craziest, like, shit with your hands and transforming into things, and you feel like an idiot doing it. But it's going to look awesome when it comes out. Once the CGI is in there, it's going to be great, Maisie. Well, you've got a new X-Men movie coming out right now. What can you tease about your journey? I can tease nothing. Really? I, really? I have, like, they're going to kill me if I tease anything. Well, here's a question for you. Who is more concerned about secrets, Game of Thrones or Marvel? Oh, God. Both of them have, like, snipers at my back right now. <laughs> I can't reveal anything about either. They're crazy. Lockdown. It's on lockdown. But it's more exciting for the fans that way, right? Definitely. It was really exciting for us to see Ed Sheeran in the premiere. That was such a nice surprise. It's fun. It's because Maisie loves Ed Sheeran, and David and Dan had it as, like, a surprise for her. So they just kind of, they didn't tell her. I told her by accident. I was like, oh, when's Ed Sheeran coming on the show? Um, but yeah, they, they kind of did it as a surprise. I was kind of mad because I've been talking about Bieber coming on the show for a while now, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm over it. Ed got a little bit of backlash from the fans on Twitter for appearing on Game of Thrones. What do you have to say about that? He did? I thought he killed it. Ed Sheeran is a hero. No one, no one slay Ed Sheeran. That's rude. <laughs> Um, we at ET have a brand new Game of Thrones after show called Westeros Weekly, Ooh. and we have a running segment called the Stark Sister Update. No way. Where each week we give an update, have they seen each other? And then we just say, no. No. <laughs> That's amazing. I like that. Can you give us a Stark Sister Update? No. <laughs> I mean, it would be amazing if they were to cross over at some point, but I think we have more chance in the Marvel Universe than in Game of Thrones, because we're not about happy endings on Game of Thrones.